Hello, okay, so here I am back in the fitness lab at my garden, back with a simple but effective back care routine. Now this is a foundational routine, so it's that simple, anybody can do it. So it's aimed at the sedentary lifestyle, people that are inactive. So if you're looking to counterbalance those occupational activities, so if you spend long periods sat down at work each day, hunched over the computer, you'll find that imbalances can creep in, which can lead to aches and pains, especially back pain. So you can give this one a go daily. I would suggest try it for one week, Monday to Friday, so you can really feel, uh, so you really start to feel the benefits and a lot of those aches and pains should start to disappear. So without further ado, let's go for it. The first exercise is going to be a walkout. position so from this angle lift the heels touch the toes probably find uh, this hips and groin might be quite tight however that is quite common that can lead to back pain issues so don't rush it don't force it what you'll find is if you've been leading an inactive lifestyle it will probably feel quite tight especially if you're spending long periods sat down, but stick with it, it will start to loosen up. The more you do it, and as the week progresses. So our next one is the child's pose. So I'm going to bring my heels back towards, sorry, my glutes, which is my butt, back towards my heels. Forehead down towards the mat. Child's pose, feel these lats. And then I'm going to come forward, eyes up to the sky. Steady. Ten. Plus three. And four. Five of each movement. No straining. You should feel no pain. Don't force it. As mentioned, it will get easier as you progress. The more you do it. Now this upward dog. From Cobra may feel quite awkward because you're in extension, which counterbalances all those hours in flexion, hunched over. So it will feel awkward, but it's great counterbalance, so stick with it. Okay, our next one is back to this child's pose. And it's for the neck, forehead to the mat, breathe in, look up. One. Now I'm just going to go for five in this demo. However, if you're feeling particularly tight, you can do more. Minimum five. And go spend a bit of time on the tight ones. Again, don't force it. Great job. So our next one is our hip bridge blue raise, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to lie on my back. Feet near my glutes, which is my butt. I'm going to lift, squeeze, squeeze the glutes. Weight onto the heels, weight onto the shoulders, engage glutes, especially if you spend long periods sat on them all day. Lift and squeeze. Now you can see I'm keeping a bit of resistance there. If you're struggling, you can rest. But try and keep a bit of resistance throughout. We're only going for 10. And try not to keep the knees out. Two more. Great job, and our next one is our knee drops. So I'm going to lift the feet, legs bent, knees together, arms to the sides of the balance. Try to keep shoulders on the mat or the floor. Gently drop the legs to the left. Again, don't force it, you're not straining, no pain. Be a bit patient with it, it will feel tight, it will feel awkward. Nice and steady, so this shoulder's not raising. Ten in total. Again, you can spend a little bit longer on it if it's uh, tight. 
probably find one side is tighter than the other. Now again, don't force it, that's as far as you can go. And over time you'll find it will get looser and easier. So from this angle, shoulders on the mat, knee drop, keeping the shoulders on the mat. Brilliant. Good work. So our last one is our back extension. So we're back in back to this extension movement. And we're eyes up as we raise. Now the idea is get the vertebrae in your neck. So avoid that chicken neck. Eyes up as we extend. You've got to think, we spend hours in this position each day, you know, we're doing this for ten seconds. 10 20 seconds per day for the week. So uh, it's not much of a counterbalance, but it will help. But again, that's why it feels awkward. So, hands at the temples, eyes up, raise the shoulders, no straining, lower under control. As you raise, gently push your hips to the mat. Now you can rest if you need to and repeat. Again, I'm trying to keep a little bit of resistance here to progress over time. The key is not to overstretch, not to go too quick, not to get carried away, nice and steady. Progress at a rate that is feels good for you. So, great job. There we have it. A simple but effective back care routine that you can give a go so as mentioned give it a try for the week don't forget to let me know how you get on in the comments box below till the next time train for purpose train safe